right, Leos, welcome to part two of your bonus new moon message. All right, this is um, bonus reading for you guys. This is part two, where um, if you have not watched part one, highly recommend watching part one first because you it won't make sense. The tarot won't make sense to the messages that we already got um, from the first part. So highly recommend watching the first part first and then come back to this one if you have not already done so. Um, but I just, it was already long enough. I didn't want to make it any longer. That was a whole reading in itself. I felt by the time I got to the end of it. So I went ahead and cut it there and just started part two with the tarot. So, um, yeah, so let's get into this. For those of you that are joining me back on part two, I appreciate you so much. I, um, would really love and appreciate if you would subscribe to the channel like this video um if it gives you any guidance any insight if it gives you any clarity or helps you in your situation at all i really appreciate that it just you know is a really free and easy way to um to support spirit and i in channeling these messages for you guys they definitely take a lot of effort especially on my end so i appreciate that more than y'all know so all right so challenge quick little recap one 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 on the timer um, we got intensification in reverse Letha energy. Like I said, these cards aren't really read in reverse, but I like to read them both ways when they do come out in reverse. So, and like I said, if you watch part one, you'll find out what more of that was about. Um, what spirit wants you to focus on for this new moon is work through your feelings, last quarter moon in Aries. Okay. And what's coming towards you is we have spirit guide healing and protection. All right. So this is, um, basically you guys are, I feel like maybe feeling challenged with the intensity of something that has maybe recently ended, something that maybe you guys are grieving. It could be definitely a relationship, a connection, a job, um, an environment, just something that may be happening um, that's, you know, coming up to move you to the next part of your journey to put you guys essentially back into your power um, because we do have courage and confidence at, you know, the bottom of this deck. And I feel like this is all happening where spirit is wanting you to really breathe through the tension at this time and really honor your feelings that are coming up for you guys um, because essentially you know what happens to us what our you know ancestors went through you know has you know it, it's not our fault the things that we came into this lifetime to heal and experience but it is our responsibility once we're aware of you know those things it is our responsibility to heal ourselves so i feel like some of you um the if this new moon energy is very intense for you guys that's why and so i feel like spirit is doing you know its part on your behalf to help you through this energy so let's continue with the tarot so spirit can we clarify belitha and intention i mean intensification for leo for what's challenging leo during this new moon it's windy I'm trusting that that won't affect the shuffling happening here and the messages as they come out i feel like i should turn a little bit and see if that helps some I just don't want the wind to give distorted messages, you know. I know that things happen exactly as they're supposed to, but, you know, still. All right, so we have lovers. So, yeah, for some of you, oh, shit, I didn't realize there's a car behind it. So, lovers in the Six of Wands. So, I feel like for some of you, this is, you know, um, you guys may be feeling challenged with the connection. Like I said, some of you um, are not maybe getting the attention that you want or, you know, maybe this person is giving their attention or energy to someone else, okay, for some of you. Um, it's like you're, you're maybe not, yeah, it's essentially helping you move on, okay, into a very, uh, more happier period, okay? Um, I feel like for some of you, this is about, you know, really allowing yourself to step back into harmony. We have six, six here, okay? Two sixes that came out together and the six of swords, so that's three sixes out of four cards, three sixes, okay? Six, 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 that does not mean the devil. Please do your research on that before we you know, uh, take these, these taught, uh, lies basically. <laughs> um, so yeah, we have Gemini energy here. Um, I definitely feel like this has to do with the connection where some of you, this person may be getting attention from other people, or maybe this person is seeing you get attention from other people. I feel like, um, if this has to do with a connection. It's like, I feel like it's, it's, I feel like it's, it's like, give me a second to sit with this message a little bit more. So I want it to be made clear here <clears throat> while I'm trying not to look, <laughs> the cards blow away. I 
I feel like for some of you, it's like your feelings for someone maybe has died down, okay? Or they're just not as strong as they used to be. And I feel like this is a person that maybe is giving you attention, um, you know, that you're maybe not wanting. I feel like some of you are kind of like over it. You're moving on from a situation. And I feel like someone's trying to maybe get your attention in some type of way um, because they see you're moving on, all right? And I feel like for some of you, you might be finding it challenging to, you know, continue to move on when you still see this person, you know, on your feed or in your energy or maybe see them at work or something like that. So I feel like it's going to be important for you guys to really, you know, do your best, especially if like, say, if this is like a work connection and you're having to, you know, see this person on a regular continuous basis or, you know, someone that you live with spirit is wanting you to really put your focus on things that make you happy, things that make you feel fulfilled, like really focusing your your um energy inwardly okay focusing on yourself and really and that's and it makes sense because i asked spirit this is what this row indicates is with the point of focus what spirit wants you to focus on with this new moon and this is what came out work through your feelings so things that are coming up from your past um really allow yourself to trust the intuitive guidance that you're getting about those things and honor how you feel um for some of you this is like you know um the intensity that maybe you've been feeling surrounding this new moon and things that are maybe coming up for you to clear out um i feel like it's going to help put you back in alignment for success okay um i feel like you guys maybe just it may be feeling challenging though that maybe it hasn't happened yet but this is spirit indicating that it's that it's coming you know you have to allow it though so there's maybe like i said some feelings that are coming up at this time that you're needing to allow yourself to work through in order to see the shift actually take place in your 3d reality so once you allow yourself to let those things come up and let them pass is then when you'll start to see the shift of this alignment and you know seeing yourself um you know move beyond the challenges that i feel like some of you that have been experiencing at this time okay so let's keep going spirit let's work through your feelings for what you want um leos to focus on clarify that energy please for leos about what you want leos to focus on this new moon ace of cups see what i'm saying for some of you this is new love okay that's coming in where spirit is wanting you to just you know focus on the fact that you know what that's dead that's gone it's cool like you know maybe it wasn't cool but it's cool in the sense of you know there's there's always more fish in the sea so to speak that you know just because one thing didn't work out doesn't mean that there isn't so many other more opportunities and more people waiting to love you more people and experiences waiting for you to be waiting to be had with you you understand what i'm saying so but for others of you this is also talking about spirit wants you to focus on loving yourself okay you can't essentially pour into anyone's cup until you pour into your own and we're really not even supposed to pour into anyone's cup until our cup is not only full but overflow to where your cup stays full and whatever comes you know the overflow that's what everybody else gets and if you don't have any overflow then we just got to keep it for ourselves. and so i feel like spirit is really wanting you to pour that energy and like i was saying for those of you that watched the um the first part of this reading like I said, I highly recommend only because um, it goes deeper into what this, it was, that was, I feel like it was a very powerful reading in itself. That's another reason why I split it into two because that was like a whole message in itself with just the Oracle card. So, but um, the part in there where I was talking about, um, you know, that you guys essentially are so loving. Leos have such a big fucking heart to where you guys are so giving and so nurturing and loving and always there for them. And I know this personally because my son is a Leo and he, I understand now why he picked me to be his mom in this lifetime. So it's such a beautiful dynamic that we have, even though we drive each other crazy sometimes. We're, um, the love that he shows me at, at 16, you know, is beyond anything I could have asked for in a child, let alone a boy, right? Who grew up with only one father for, you know, tech, I mean, who grew up, you know, with only one parent for the most part. Um, not the very beginning of his life, but for a lot of his life, it was just me and him. So, um, the love that he shows me, you know, he, he always pours a lot into myself or my parents or family and other people, but you know, it always makes me wonder, like, you know, like I try to help him focus a lot on loving on himself. So what I, like I was saying in the first reading was you guys, a lot, you know, a lot of you pour out so much energy and you're there for so many people, but who's there for you? Right. So, um, and essentially some of you may be kind of like feeling like, well, no one's there for me because I don't deserve it. Like I'm just, you know, but that's not true. It's because we have to redirect that energy and turn it back inwards and give it back to ourselves. So then it can be reflected through another. So spirit, can we have one more? What is the Ace of Cups for Leo? Ace of Cups for Leo. <clears throat> for what you want Leos to focus on. This new moon energy, please. 
for their accurate messages. So Leo, please speak to their hearts. Ooh, for some of you, it is um, new love, okay? That's, that's coming in for you guys. That spirit wants you to focus on not necessarily like focusing your, your attention outwards, but focusing on the fact that, you know what? This is all clearing and making space for what I deserve, for someone new that's coming in that's that I know is on their way to me. So let me, you know what? Let me work through my shit. Let me get my stuff together. So when this person presents themselves, I know exactly who they are and I won't push it away. I won't sabotage it because I haven't worked through my shit first. Okay, that is what the message that I'm getting here, um, Leo. Now, for some of you, this could still be talking about you though, all right? Both of these cards are still, we can always turn it back inwards, which is always a reflection anyway. So it makes sense. But, um... What I'm getting here too is spirit wants you to work through your feelings and really loving on yourself, really doing, maybe taking yourself on a date. For some of you that, you know, are recently single, spirit is wanting you to take yourself on a date. All the things that we want and expect or need from another person, this is where spirit is wanting you to focus, you know, with this new moon on, you know what, I'm going to date myself. I'm going to love on myself so fucking hard that, you know, when that person comes in, they're, they're giving me everything I, you know, could have never possibly given myself 11 11 on the timer so again this is like that portal energy for some of you this is making room essentially for your twin flame for those of you that believe in that dynamic that resonate with that um this is saying making room for that but we have to give ourselves that energy first we have to first embody the energy because you don't attract who you want you attract who you are so this is spirit saying if you want someone that's willing to court you and date you and love you unconditionally to your cup overflows this is where spirit wants you to give yourself that energy first work through any feelings that may be coming up about what couldn't you know been provided what couldn't be provided to you before what maybe the love you didn't get as a child let all those things come up deal with them heal them transmute them release them and start loving on yourself start dating yourself for some of you this is about you know um focusing on new opportunities you know asking spirit you know for new opportunities that really make you make your heart sing so to speak and you know take the action that you're guided to take take follow your heart for some of you this is about following your heart wherever your heart is guiding you allow yourself to you know see where it leads see where it goes right so let's see um spirit let's clarify this last row here for leo's what's coming towards leo's this new moon clarify healing spirit guide and protection so like i was saying um i feel like for some of you what's coming towards you is you guys are definitely healing okay you guys are definitely doing a lot of releasing at this time and like i said some of you um maybe some of you are becoming like a spirit guide to other people like some of you are going through this process here with the moon on the top some of you are going through this this process or maybe this period of um darkness where it feels dark right but i feel like it's a it's a period for you guys to really step into your power i feel like for some of you it's it's like kind of like passing the baton where like maybe where your ancestors kind of like it's like picking up where they left off okay where i feel like some of you it's like you're stepping into a higher role a higher level of your spiritual journey that is requiring a bigger responsibility it's like you're stepping into a higher role but you need to be ready for that by you know clearing out this energy that may be coming up at this time really allowing yourself to you know work through the feelings and the emotions and the tra the trauma and you know all those experiences that are arising at this time and allow yourself to really heal and transmute that stuff because i feel like some of you are being called into service in some type of way with this new moon and it's it's you know this has to be dealt with first it's like we have to do this first before you can do that like you have to graduate high school before you go to college right you there's certain things that you must do first before you can get to the next step it's kind of like the prereq right the prerequisite to the next part of your journey so i feel like some of you are so close to finishing that and i feel like you know where things may be feeling like you're like the like the energy is so intense this is where spirit is asking you to maybe get outside, get in water, you know, get around water, allow that emotion to flow, allow your, you know, to yourself to be submerged into bodies of water, preferably, um, you know, like ocean, salt water, right? Salt is very, very purifying. 1414 on the screen is very purifying. It's very um, healing and <sighs> cleansing and detoxifying. Some of you really benefit from that if it's available to you, obviously. So what's coming towards you? Holy shit okay leo so first off we have the sun okay we have the eight of wands and we have the emperor so for some of you this is it makes sense for some of you this is you stepping into your own power okay and the reason why i say that is because like i said at the bottom in the first reading the bottom of this deck we have courage and confidence so this is what's coming towards you is this energy coming up to be cleared out to essentially put you guys back in your power okay this is your technically your card right um 
in the tarot but in this particular oracle deck it's still your card which and even still underneath that the confidence that is what the leo energy all embodies the yellow that's your solar plexus which is your center your um center of confidence that's your your center of self-esteem of willpower drive desire motivation where that's where all that comes from so i feel like for some of you this is all happening essentially to put you back in your power to you know help you move forward and really get back into the driver's seat of your own life for now for some of you that's it's a this is a definitely a more personal journey but for others of you it could definitely be a little of both where it's not only personal because it and it's still it makes sense because if in order for you to attract you know this type of energy right outside of you you need to embody that energy first so it, it's still it's like we still have to do the work regardless so like i said um for some of you this is also talking about you know good news okay new opportunities an opportunity to really be happy here okay and i feel like for some of you it's coming in very very quickly where this is good news coming in or this is someone for some of you it's an emperor it's for some of you it's your divine counterpart your divine masculine for those of you that are um, women watching or you could be a man watching too it doesn't matter but those of you that are seeking a divine masculine okay that could be is also what is on you know what is coming in for you guys by you allowing yourself to do this work and be ready and open when opportunity presents itself when it's illuminated to you right we go from the moon to the sun those are those polar opposites so this for you for some of you is this is your energy where you're attracting the masculine energy okay that's showing up as your divine masculine your divine counterpart so for some of you you know your spirit your um guides at this time are helping you through this journey and protecting you along the way but not only protecting you protecting this union for some of you that for those of you where that's you know where this is talking about like i said a new love that's coming in or someone for some of you this is someone you recently started dating okay or someone that is coming in for you to you know get to know and date there may be some things that come up in this connection for you guys that is being asked for you to work on okay for some of you you may have a tendency to get into relationships too fast and this is where spirit is saying there's maybe underlying fear here that needs to be addressed and identified for you to really um you know and trust your intuitions for something for some of you it's like a secret like secret feelings or a secret um resentment that you're harboring or holding on to from a past life a previous relationship maybe just things from childhood that you want to make sure you you know take a look at and really identify um because i feel like some of you if you're not careful you regret you know you might end up losing this person okay if you're not doing the work you'll essentially sabotage um a new connection here it's not for everyone but for, i feel like for some of you it's definitely a new connection here that's on its way to you and we don't want to sabotage that especially if it's something you've been working for something you've been asking for it's definitely coming but spirit is giving you so for some of you where if you like i said have been trying to manifest something this could be a counterpart that you've been manifesting and it feels like you know like we we're going so good and then it just kind of like it just kind of fizzled out or just kind of dissipated that could be why okay is there's things that are coming up at this time that spirits wanting you to clear out so you guys can release it before you completely sabotage a the connection there's no coming back from that all right so leo um you know what let's grab you guys some real quick advice let's grab leo some advice real fast spirit for this new moon I hope you guys have enjoyed this reading if you stuck around up until this point i'm beyond grateful for you i'm not getting that fucking golf ball that kissed my ass <laughs> my shadow was like not having it today anyway so let's get some advice for leos before these people come over here wanting this damn ball and make me mad i shouldn't have tossed it over here advice for leos spirit prince of pentacles so this is about taking your time you know focusing on the long term focusing on your long-term goals your long-term plans focusing on the outlook of what you want your life to look like for the long haul okay and then we had two more that came out so the six of cups and the seven of pentacles so this is about you know um really walking away from the past leaving your past you know behind and you know continuing to nurture your present nurture your future and what you want your life to look like going forward um there's beautiful things ahead it's just a matter of you know where do you where do you put your focus is it worth continuing to look backwards or is it worth continuing to look forward and keep taking the steps that you're guided to take to move ahead towards the life that you want because it's here for you it's just waiting on you all right so leo's that's what i have for you i really hope you enjoyed this reading i really hope it gave you some clarity and guidance to your situation and um if it did like i said i really appreciate it. give this video a thumbs up consider seven if you have not and until next time you guys